What's up YouTube? This is Hussein from Techman45 and in this video I am going to be showing you how to set up a company email with Gmail. The benefits of this are that it keeps all of your email messages in one place and uh, it, it's really convenient and you also enjoy all the Gmail features. So let's get started. First you're gonna want to get to your host. I am using Hawkhost. It's a really nice host. I find some nice speeds with it and yeah. I I really enjoy being with this host. I had Hostgator before, but Hawkhost was just really amazing. I had to give that a, a try and yeah. Okay. So First, you're going to want to go to email accounts right down here under mail. It's going to be different for other hosts depending on which host you're on, but please bear with me. I'm pretty sure your host will have these features. Okay, so email accounts, and you're going to want to create an email. I will use at blackout.com, and I will just make techman45 at blackout.com. The password doesn't really matter because it is like you're not going to be using this. You're going to be going to your Gmail and it will be all set up right there, right? So just make this anything generic. Let it to use password. The most generic password you can think of. Now let's create our account. And now that the account is created, you're going to want to set up a forwarder. So go back to your home and go down to forwarders and add forwarder. Now we're gonna want to use the forward the email that we just set up, techman45 at blackout.com, and we're gonna forward this email to my techman45 Gmail. Okay, so just make sure everything's set up you don't have to go through the advanced options and just click add forwarder go back and we'll test if it goes so go back to email accounts go down to this more access webmail and let's just put in our generic password and we're just going to be using round cube so let's just click compose and we're going to want to test this email so just send it to this email blackout.com test test send message and let's see if it comes to our techman45 and yes it did you got it right here okay so next we're going to want to add the account to Gmail. So let's go to settings, accounts and import and you're gonna go here and click add another email address you own. Now let's just change the name, same for now. And email address, you're going to want to put the email address you just made. next step send through gmail's uh, services this is a lot easier to do so let's use that next step send verification the good thing about this is that we already set up the forwarder so all you're going to want to do is go back into gmail and you're going to get your email you're gonna want to to copy this code control C come back here and control V verify and the account has been now verified so let's close this and come here now we're going to create a filter what this is is just like a folder right here so that it uh, separates this and your normal email that comes in here 
so let's go to filters and create a new one since um, we can already send messages from the at blackout.com we're going to receive emails and set all those received emails into that folder so in the two call in the two query I guess you wanna put the email you just made at blackout.com and create filter with this search now it's gonna come here and what we're going to do is we're gonna create a new label and let's just call it blackout because that's the domain create and uh, go over any of these you want to store it you can store it if you want to mark it as important you can do that as well so next you also want to click this box what this does is it just um, adds that filter to the um, already existing emails so create filter and now the filter has been created now you'll come down here and click this little arrow and you can adjust the options and change the color so let's just change the color here and now if you want to check it out go to your inbox and boom these two emails that you just received before the test it will have this label right here blackout and that's about it I hope you really learned something from this tutorial. I hope it helped you out a lot. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Peace.